Well, from there, take a look at what you see behind us. That is a water spout. Yeah, this is video we got from a viewer Jim Jennings back in July. Let's bring in John once again. Now, John, you're tracking some conditions that could bring more of these in the next few days. Yeah, Melissa, water spouts are very common this time of year, especially during early autumn when we get a strong cold front that comes in over the Lake Erie waters. We do see the chance for water spouts Friday night into Saturday. Choppy conditions on Lake Erie with two to four foot waves and due to that cold front over the relatively mild lake waters, there will be the chance for a water spout or two. Now there's a big difference between a water spout and a tornado. This time of year in early autumn, we do see those warm lake waters and we can see rising warm air that comes up off of Lake Erie. Now whenever a cold front passes through this time of year, that thermal contrast or temperature difference can cause some rotation high up in the atmosphere and that is enough to produce a bit of circulation in the clouds. Now water spouts very different from tornadoes in that they rarely cause damage or make landfall. But those of you that are frequent boaters are familiar with water spouts, especially during September and into October. Now a tornado occurs during what we call a supercell thunderstorm where there is a stronger rotating updraft. And of course those can be dangerous very much so and are prompting a tornado warning. Water spouts do not warrant a tornado warning. However, there will be special marine alerts as to how these water spouts can impact boaters and they are driven by that thermal circulation with the warm lake waters and a cold front that moves in over those waters. Again, very common this time of year. We have the latest boaters forecast always on air on WTOL 11 and on that free weather app for the latest.